I'm quietly, very quietly optimistic about this football team. I think it's a, it's a, it's kind of our style of team uh, in that we've, you know, most of our teams have been that way here, but uh, this is a more our, you know, we're, we're more in our comfort zone. Uh, we're 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 a, we're a underdog probably a little bit more this year than we have been in the past. You know, this will be one of the better defenses we've had here, in my opinion, uh, as a group. Uh, we've had excellent players every year in, in, in all phases of our team, but particularly defensively. We, but this group will be, you know, one of our better groups. We have a little more depth than we've had in the past. You know, these guys have played as young players. They've been redshirted, and and a lot of them been uh, been brought along the right way. Like our team, uh, a smart group, hard workers, good leadership. But I really like the the, the progress they're making here in the in spring football to to the summer. Uh, I call them OTAs, you know, uh, like you do in the NFL. Our OTAs have been very, very, very good. I think this spring, this summer, we've made a lot, a lot of, a lot of strides uh, on both sides of the ball, particularly offensively. The Ford Summer Sales Event is in full swing. They are not listening to me. Watch this. Who wants ice cream? So that's how you get them to listen. Take on Summer Right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now with Summer's hottest offer. Get 0% for 72 months plus an additional 1,000 on top of your trade-in. During the Ford Summer Sales Event, get 0% for 72 months plus an additional 1,000 on top of your trade-in. Offer ends soon. The birds are back, and there's no place like Saturdays at Hancock Stadium. The energy, the passion, the pride. Cheer on the birds this fall as they look to make their fourth straight playoff appearance. Be a part of the action. Get your tickets today at GoRedbirds.com slash tickets. Living the life, yeah, you have this one. AMG gives you access unlike anyone. Not feeling well, call me. <clears throat> or click the dock right away. And get in to see it on the same day. With plenty of places close to your nest. At 1500 docks, hoping you feel your best. In and out of a flash. Call today, get in today. Feel your meds, check your test. Chat with docks around the clocks with AMG. You can be living healthy. Just click and fly in. Advocate Medical Group. I'm mic'd up today, so anything I say goes down into the archives forever, <laughs> all right? So I don't want to give you any freaking material. You can say, hey, my dad, he's kind of mean to me. So I'm not going to be mean to you today, all right? Because <laughs> then it's on file. It's on tape. I don't want to do that today, all right? You got anything to say? You got anything to say to the media? Huh? You got anything to say? Want to start singing or something? You ain't some dumb jokes? Some dumb 13-year-old jokes? Huh? We have ramped up our, you know, Coach Lathrop gets the, the brunt of the training, you know, that phase of um, bigger, faster, stronger, um, the lifting, the speed training, all that stuff. And then we get to film work, you know, drill work, and you know, really getting our guys to understand what we want from them, you know, building our, you know, building our offense, you know, coaching the offensive line, making sure our footwork and understanding our communication, um, you know, just understanding the guy next to you. Do you have a garbage up here? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to hijack your uh, <laughs> cart here. All right, you're the man. Oh, good move. During camp, we're trying to find out who exactly we are, you know, offensively. And with a with a new line coming back, you know, that's that's going to be the biggest challenge. You know, I, I really like our, our offensive line. I think they're young and I think they're hungry and I, I think they have um, some nastiness to them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Just like he's not a Tony Tony guy. <laughs> no. The no. trenches are going to tell you how the game's going to go. And so we lost, we lost five good ones. We did. We graduated five good ones. And um, Chad Kanye is obviously our returning guy with the most experience. Two, two. Pull the shoulder. We have we have Dean, who's pretty much the senior on the on the all line. He's the only senior. He pretty much keeps us all together. He can pretty much he can play guard, he can play center, he can play tackle. So we can put him anywhere. He's a wild card pretty much when we need him. Dean Helt is you know coming off his second labrum surgery, and so now he's going to be full go, having a great summer. He'll be our senior on the O line. Um, he's really worked really hard this off season, and he can play a bunch of different positions on that O line. And um, really looking forward to playing with him. He's a great leader for our team. Um, someone who sets a really good example for the younger guys. What's the consensus around the team on the camp format? Everyone likes it. I mean, it's still going to be long, but you know, with the situation we're dealt, I think it's about as good as it's going to get. You know, like especially having that three-hour break. That's huge. So I, in terms of camp, long, but it's not that bad. Donovan O'Day, uh, another young man that has come off, uh, you know, transitioned from D-line to O-line and has done a fabulous job, had a really good spring. Okay, let's go. I mean, people when people look at linemen, they pretty much think, oh, like, just big guys, pretty much all do the same thing, just get in the way. Playing D-line or offensive line is completely different. When you're playing defensive line, you're pretty much trying to be aggressive. You're trying to get in the backfield, trying to make the plays in the backfield and just disrupt everything. When you come to offensive line, you have to be patient. So really just being, being patient is probably the biggest issue with it and then learning the technique. Detail. Relax, Donnie. Relax. Let your feet work. <laughs> and then we have the tackles. We have a few options also. Drew Hillman could play, really, really talented freshman. 6'9", tall kid. He's put on decent weight too, extremely talented. Drew Himmelman, um, a young man, we gray shirted and red shirted and you know, now he's you know, getting into that phase of his body where he's you know, starting to look like an offensive lineman. I think he's just scratching the surface how good a player he's gonna be because he's a freshman right now. Oh, welcome back, Dex. Jared Reince is having a, having a good year. You know, he's having a good off season. Um, he had a he had an okay spring. You know, you know, as we talk through it and what he learned. You know, jumping into that you know starting left guard spot. You know, and and uh, going up against that good defense. He, he learned a lot. Right, right, right. Good rap. And then we also Good have rap. Garrett Hirsch, who's a center, who could potentially be playing. Tyler Brown, who's also good. He's a junior. He should be, he could be playing. And then we have Cole Anderson. He's really good too. So pretty much we have there's good competition at the offensive line group. Like our young linemen, offensively are some young guys. I think they're very good players. Good punch. Great hands are. Uh, there's a bunch of other guys that have been working really really hard in this off season that. Um, are competing for jobs and stuff, and they continue to make each other better. But uh, the coaches got have decisions to make with that, and they'll continue to work that out. But there's new guys, there's new faces, there's guys that are developing, and so you know, really getting a feel for our team. You know, going into fall on you know where everybody's going to fit. Great body language all day, every one of you. All right, bring each other up. This core's got to go. You can't stay the same. We gotta get better today. All right, break it down, get a drink. Left, left, good turning cap, let's go, let's go. Just gotta get him in the front door. That's what we gotta think about. It's just a pressure, you got the ball, but it's a pressure. We don't need, right? Two veteran guys, let's go. Chad! Come on! Go inside and keep it. Have good body language right now when you're tired. Good body language. All right? Spencer, you had the one bad snap today. You got up down. Attitude on three. One, two, three. Attitude. Attitude. Stay in tight. Stay in tight. Stay in tight.
fifth. They picked you fifth. They picked you fifth. And the national press didn't even pick you fifth. They had five teams go in the playoffs, and you weren't one of them. In the top 25. Okay. They've done this before. They made this mistake before. Last time they made a mistake, we went to the national championship game. That's the last time that happened. You make a stand. You make believers out of everybody. Okay. You make believers out of everybody. I'm going to keep reminding you that every day you practice out there. You can't wait till September. It has to start now. And it's already started. It's ridiculous. I won't bring it up again. What are you made of? Invest in you. Because it will make us better. You will make us better. Invest in you. Learn how to play that way every single day. Every single snap. And don't take a playoff. Do not do that. Make him playing fast, with great technique, with unbelievable toughness and physicality, a habit. You make it a habit. It's what you do. It's what we do here. And that's part of the process of learning how to do that. All right? Okay, anybody have any questions? Coaches, you guys good? Anybody have questions? All right, so your coaches. You go. Oh, Even... <laughs> there he is. Nothing is on camera today. That's a video. This is gonna be a waste of a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be nothing that can be used. Nothing that can be used. So. Tyler Pekovich, tight end, and uh, Michael Clements both should be really big weapons for us this year. And they had um, Peko had a great spring. Clements was hurt, but um, really look forward to. To trying to get the ball to them a little more, and they're, they're just really good players. It's been a long practice for us. It's been long. We have a lot of good tight ends, a lot of good young tight ends. Um, you know, that can definitely play. Tanner likes to hit, you know that? Tala. He likes to what? He likes to hit. Does he? Yeah. I saw him try to hold her shoulder on that one. I'll give him two years, and then he won't be. He'll be uh, you know, last year, uh, uh, me and Pekovic were the two tight ends uh, that were kind of playing, you know, and um, we did a lot of two tight end packages, um, which was great because I think we can both do, you know, some good things on the field. Um, so it's nice to see that, you know, we're both in there actually being able to like showcase what we can do and just help the team out in general. Hey, 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 you want the ball? We're trying to get the tight ends I'm a little more involved this year, um, which is obviously great for our group. Um, and then we do have, um, you know, uh, some of the young guys, Rob and uh, Tanner, um, who just came in. He's a freshman, um, and they're both going to be really good. Um, I mean, obviously, I think just us as a group in general, we need some more work. Like, I don't, I don't think there's ever a time when you couldn't try to tune things up. So um, uh, we've been working hard, you know, we're going to continue to do just whatever the coach tells us to do and try to get that extra work in to be uh, the best group on the field. Uh, Tyler Petr Pekovic, he's, he's had a very good spring. He's, done, he's just taken off this summer. Let him again! Yeah? Yeah! You won't block this! Are you Mike Pepper? Yeah. So tell me, about the, tell me all your secrets right now. <laughs> what was that? What you say? <laughs> uh, be sure to talk into the mic, please. <laughs> oh, I mean my shirt. <laughs> I'd rather run to the top of the stairs and take a lap. The lap takes forever. I walk up the stairs. I mean, I fully sprint up the stairs. Oh my god. As a whole offense, we just got to keep working. Um, I think we're very good at the receiver core. Um, and I mean, Jake, our quarterback, is extremely good. 
Um, he's a great leader too. So, you know, everyone, we all want to win. We all want that national championship. So we're going to do whatever it takes. You know, we're going to be working twice as hard to make sure that us as a whole offense are on the same plane and just doing whatever we can. Yeah, I actually, I have heard that. <laughs>model is the eye in the sky never lies so when the coaches use that video to show the players you know the players will think well I did it the right way but when they go and look at that film after practice they'll see the coaches will show them no that's not the correct way we want it done this is the correct way we want it done attack them now attack them we want him running not you right I know you did right so right now we're going to talk about circuit one and our, our tackling circuit we do. Young guys, every day, okay, we start out the day with a special team circuit. It is six minutes long. It is two three-minute segments. Okay, so we'll have the first three minutes of the circuit. You'll go do a specific Yeah, you really only skill. spend about maybe two, three hours on the, film, or on the field every day, and the rest of your day is just devoted to film. So it's really important to... Look at the film, uh, see where you made a mistake, and see where you can fix this for the next time you go out on the field. You can do things correctly. It's just one of those things that uh, you don't really think about until you get to college, because in high school we didn't really watch too much film. And I mean, there's a lot of things I wish I could go back now in high school and just watch the film and see myself playing the full game that I would fix for the next game. So it's one of those things that's really important. Coach, uh, Coach Hall will be, be at simulating a kick, a punt. He's just going to raise the ball up, all right? So I don't actually have to take it off his foot. I want to put both two hands on it, though. Eyes low, hands low. Whatever you want. It's almost like you're playing chess. There's a lot of thinking to making that correct move, and you want to make sure you make that correct move because if you make a move and it's the wrong one, you, you pay for it. It's, it's, it's a win-win a for both the coaches, for the players to make themselves better. If we do change things up a little bit or we have checks to a certain formation or certain um, personnel that's on the field, um, you can make those without even thinking. So the biggest part in the meeting room is, especially in the linebacker room, we'll kind of have kind of quiz ourselves. And uh, Coach Schoonover does really well with um, drawing up different formations and asking questions and involving us instead of just sitting and watching film, you know, the whole time. He's asking questions and asking guys to make certain checks to certain formations, and it's it's always it's a constant Let's go. thinking. Good posture. Good, Brad. You can't just go out and pound and pound and pound and pound and pound. It doesn't. It, that's counterproductive um, after a while. So um, we take a lot of stock in those moments that we are in the classroom setting. Uh, from example, you know, 
historically, I use uh, somebody might have played for me in 2011, uh, a certain technique on a blocking scheme and the proper way to defeat a block. And then I might show somebody that did it incorrectly. And that's those examples over and over and the repetition of those examples um, become very valuable to our young men. We take pride in what we do. And I know our coaches and I know our players appreciate what my students, my GA, myself do to make them a, a better team. You know, our goal every year is to win a national championship. And, uh, you know, not, anything short of that is considered a failure for us. That's, where our, that's how far this program has come. Uh, and, you know, we just have to keep working hard and we have to play fast and just perfecting every little thing that we can. You know, never being satisfied, you know, pursue the next, pursue the next goal. And if every position group does that, it will be a special year. Okay. Any questions about what we got going tomorrow with special teams? All right. If you do, ask them in the morning before we get out of stretch. Ops on two. One, two. Ops. Right. And then the running backs, I mean, they got the best, best running backs. Fall camp, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good time. I mean, we go in every day. We're gonna have practice and uh, a lot of film sessions, and that can be real taxing every day. You know, having to wake up early and be in the facility all day. But I mean, if you love football, you know you'll be able to get through it, and it's a good time. Sometimes in my tears I drown. I drown. I'll never let them bring me down. That sounds to be stuck in my head all day now. Maybe one of the, the few, but I'm a big fan of fall camp. I, I love it. I, I think it's the, the greatest time of year, barring um, not seeing my kids as much, much, you know, and having the time to spend with my own family, my kids as much. That's, that's the only negativity for me in fall camp. I love it. And, and the reason why is minimal distractions. You know, our, our players aren't going to school. They don't have study hall, they don't have um, conflicts um, of j jobs. They're, they're zeroed in, they're locked in a football only. It's selfish in what I'm saying on that, but it's that only time of year that we get them football exclusive. First time, first time. <laughs> uh. And that's the best thing to me about fall camp is there's no class, there's nothing but football. And it's, you know, wake up early, football, you get any, any breaks you even get, it's, it's just always football. And uh, growing up, like I said earlier, like it's just loving the game and having that chance of just a month straight of football, not having to worry about anything else except for learning and critiquing your craft and doing things like that. Um, fall camp is great. You're telling me a Jaguar is more fierce than a lion? Yeah. How? Hey, was the Jaguar that like leaped off that like cliff into the water and came up with that crocodile? I honestly think Jordan's right. Alright, Jordan, would you rather fight a Jaguar on dry land or a shark in the ocean? Yeah, what if, okay, what if it's like on shore, like you're like, you could still see like, it's like waist high water. It's just one of those things, everybody's got to push, everybody's got to push through it. It's fun though, I mean, when you love playing, like that's all you have to do, just from eight in the morning until nine at night, there's, the focus is football. It's eat, sleep, and play football, and you no, know, that's an awesome experience, but it's tough too. You know how when we put the shoulder pads on and and throw a lot of things at them and, and, and get in scrimmage situations and game scenarios and see who who can play and help us win now. And that, that was the guys who are going to play. It was going to help us win now. So pretty excited about our team. You know, we, I think we got some depth in certain spots. There's obviously there's some things that need to be uh, need to be addressed. Uh, there's always those issues going into season. But all in all, I think this is a quietly a, a very good team. And uh, so we'll see. We, uh, we play in a real good league and uh, and got. Stiff competition everywhere and tough non-conference schedule again. So we'll find out.